Hey, how's it going? So you probably heard that Google Tag Manager is a great way to manage all of the tags on your website, but you probably don't know how to implement them. I was in the middle of doing this with a tag from another application that I use called Hotjar, and I thought, well, you know, I was having a lot of trouble when I was first learning how to do this, and I didn't find any videos on it or anything. So if you're looking to implement custom HTML and JavaScript tags, or rather just JavaScript tags on your website with Tag Manager, this is how you do it. The first thing you do, first I want to show you the, the tag. So here's Hotjar, and it's saying you they want me to put this code on my website. Now, normally what you would do is you would go into the file man, like all the file manager of your website, you would take the code, you would put it in either the header or wherever it's asking to do, and you would do that. But it can be very intensive if you have a ton of tags and that's where tag manager comes in and simplifies things to have, so you can have all your tags in one place. So all I gotta do now is just copy that tag and then click new. Uh, I'm gonna name this hot jar. Hot jar tag. The configuration. Here's the part. So we're usually used to um, doing Google Analytics and the new one that just came out, G4, and a bunch of other stuff. And you're like, well, you see, you're probably looking here and you're thinking, well, why isn't hot jar in here? Is that not? Um, can I not integrate? What a bummer. Well, what you want to do is you want to just go right down here and click custom HTML. And when you're going to custom HTML, you can paste your code right here. Now, just because it says HTML, um, the, well, the code is JavaScript, right? But this script tag turns the, it, which is HTML, tells HTML to start uh, listening, I guess, to JavaScript. So just it's you, it's a JavaScript code, but it is working on HTML. So now that I put that in there, I'm just going to click trigger all pages, add and save okay and I'm going to click submit right away and I'm actually gonna give this a version name of v1 because I just always do that it's just my own convention click publish okay cool now the tag is in there now let's go find out if it's working okay now I'm just here back at Hotjar and I'm gonna check if this actually worked out so verify installation all right and boom it worked out just fine so there you go, that's proof that this actually works. All you have to do is go to custom code and then just throw in your JavaScript code in there and save it and you're good to go. And now you can do this for as many uh, tags as you need to do on your website. Thanks a lot, subscribe if you haven't already, if you're interested in this kind of stuff and I'll see you next time.